A newborn baby presents to the NICU with unilateral renal angiogenesis. So, one sided kidney is not formed. It is compatible with life if the other kidney is normal. All of the following features can be associated with it except that four options are here. It is very similar to one of the questions asked, actually asked in super speciality, very similar to that. So, uh, what are the associations of a renal angiogenesis that the question is asking you about? So, associations of unilateral renal agenesis. So, they will include first of all single umbilical artery. Secondly, it will include obviously uh, same sided ipsilateral ureter will be absent because the kidney is also absent. So, there will be ipsilateral absent ureter, there will be ipsilaterally absent semi male in males you will find absent vas deferens and sometimes even the epididymis. Also, you will find that 15 percent patients are found to have contralateral VUR and many of these patients will also have contralateral hypertrophy of the kidney. So, the opposite kidney may be slightly enlarged in nature. So, VUR will be present in contralateral and that too in 15 percent. So, you can easily see that B is the one which is wrong because they are asking which is not seen except word is used. So, answer to this question is B. Also note that some of these unilateral agenesis patients may also have Mullerian duct anomalies. What are the typical Mullerian duct anomaly syndrome? In case of females, you have the mayer rockettensi kusterhauser syndrome. And in case of in case of females, you have the MRKH syndrome. In case of males, you have the syndrome called as Zinner syndrome. Details I have discussed in the video, so I'm not going to details. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Preplader.